Okay, on to video two. So, let's see. So, uh, we need to add the uh, Web API core to it um, to get it working for F sharp. So, um, let's see. Uh, now, let's finish up that refactoring that we had to do. Make it uh, F sharpy instead of a C sharpie. And I, I doubled the speed on this just to make it go along a little quicker. Um, and you could see here that uh, you could put an as at the end of the uh, function definition above, and that will make it so you can. Uh, 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 put like as underscore underscore as I will show you later on in the video series um, which is acts like the this so instead of calling it this dot whatever like you do in JavaScript you do uh, underscore underscore dot whatever or and you don't even need to do that you could just whatever you start using first you could use like the X like I'm using here um, and uh, yeah, it makes it uh, really nice, uh, very, very personable. So. And so, yeah, F sharp makes it so you can, uh, you don't necessarily need uh, to put the types of so the different types you have. Um, sometimes I'll annotate the types just to give the compiler a hint while I'm typing away, but sometimes, uh, most of the time I don't. I, I think it's cleaner um, and uh, easier to read, but you know, other people, they prefer to have the types in there just because then you can look at it and know right away rather than having to hover over it with your mouse. Um, and both ways are just fine. So, starting that up, let's test it. Booyah, well, it's working. Nice. And there we go. The post, the gets working. Let's try the post. Yeah, looking good. Wait, was it looking good? Yeah, this is a high res for me right now, so I'm having a hard time. Let's see. Oh, yeah, so for the post, we're going to add a class. And the classes are just done with types. Um, they're very uh, poco, is the word. Uh, plain old um, C sharp object or this sharp, F sharp object, right? And they're immutable by default. Um, and you can see I put the CLI uh, above it. Um, and that. It makes it so when you uh, look at it in C sharp, it'll actually be mutable in certain cases. And you want that because sometimes, like the auto document generation, um, it doesn't work with uh, immutable objects. So we, we put that up there, uh, um, and voila, it works. Um, but it'll still stay immutable in F sharp. You see how easy it is to make those classes in F sharp. It's not, uh, it's not a, a chore like it is in C sharp. So. 
So we we see there the old C++ style of of uh, writing strings that has the type defined within the string. So it it is pretty nice. And post does it work? Does it work? Let's find out. Okay, got to remember where the body is. There it is. There we go. And make our uh, JSON string there. Yeah, always do little tests here and there just to make sure everything's working. A lot of times you could actually create, uh, you could actually work in F Sharp Interactive in the REPL and you can uh, design it that way and it makes it a lot easier. And it looks like, uh oh, that's not what we wanted. Nulls. In the next video, we'll actually show you how to get rid of that null. I think in this video we run out of time. That's what I get for using free software, huh? So let's see. So here I'm just trying to figure out, oh yeah, how do you do that? I, I forget. And that's why I'm doing this video series so I can remember how to do everything. Because um, there's all, all these little tiny things you have to tweak to make work.